Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here on this fine day for show number 2650 here on Twitch. Can be Kingling's office with Spelunky 2 Yellow Cape 799 attempts. The way this will work is we can use any back equipment we want up to Cosmic Ocean. We'll replace our back equipment with a yellow cape inside the Sun Challenge in Sunken Temple. Uh, here we go. We'll see how it goes today. Had some pretty good runs yesterday. Had a 734 with no green gloves to any run now. Not exactly a particular challenge, just enjoying some runs uh, with a little added added difficulty inside Cosmic. Uh, let's roll out with uh, who are we going to play as today? I think Alto deserves a run. Alright, Alto is going to do Cricket in the Hole here and we're just going to get right into it. Okay, let's try again. There it is. That's a lot of work for one emerald. I'm good. I mean... So far, so good here. And we're off. Okay, we got a shrine and uh, a present here. I'm not looking for eggplant currently, but that certainly is what would do that. Looks like maybe Kapala here. I heard uh, puppers too. Down here. Thought I heard puppers. All right, let's go ahead and buy the present. What's in here? Shoes, not bad. Okay, I see a lizard down there. I guess no matter what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a rope here. I'm just gonna do this. Yang won't mind, right? Yo, kitty, kitty, kitty. There you are. All right, so this will be six sacrifice points. We're one live body plus the damsel away from being that. More ropes is excellent. Is there any more body? Um, I mean, I could, I could go to try to aggro Yang here. It's not a bad idea. All right, I can get this lizard up though. That'll do it. Hmm. Did I goof this? I think I did. Oh, yeah. This is goofed. All right, two ropes then. Let's do the kitty first here. Uh, getting this lizard to the shrine will definitely be a two part process, but uh, easy enough. Get him here. All right, Juicy Cup get. We're off to a great start here. Well, can't be upset about that. Juicy Cup and a bunch of money. Hell yeah. back there. Ooh, 
did not see that second arrow trap. My goodness. Alto with the quick moves. Is this the dwelling area? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Where's the key at? Okay. Hmm. It's not much way around it, you know. This has got to be done. All right, here we go. Okay, I can use this spider to get up here, though, maybe. If I have this on the hand. Haha, <laughs> not quite. Okay. One rope. All right, so we're going to throw this. We're going to try to get back to the center of the, the line here on this toss. Here we go. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good. A little to the left, but solid opening toss for today. Um, I mean, I like Pitcher's Mitt, but I think I'd rather save my money right now. And we're off. All right, I got caught up here. Zarfius, thanks for 44 months. Four more for four years. And Skolgar 321, thanks for 58. Babachka dog dropping 13 as well. Hot dog, man. What a day. Just thank you all for being here to share this time and place once again. You did. Okay, I do have spike shoes here, so probably going for like a normalized kill on this. Let's just have him um, go here. Bring it on, you oversized turkey. Yeah, I'm gonna start just doing that bomb cook. It's the it's the way. I've been for a long time trying to time a bomb throw without cooking it to uh, kill Coolback, and lately it's gone sideways on me, so let's just do a cook, which is more consistent. Definitely need those. I'm definitely gonna go jungle here for a couple of reasons. Uh, the, sh the main reason is that uh, rope deficit's easier to deal with in jungle, I feel. All right, here we go. Oh man, the triple. I can't see a thing. Oh good. Hey, cheers, Bearded Flames. Glad the uh, stream continues to be a place you can come to relax for a little bit. Very uh, happy to provide this temporary space for you. Cheers. Alright, um... There's a spiky block right there. Let's go here. That's a safe spot for the, the hammy hams. scary oops oh hey what's up uh that's safe guess we're not getting that then ow that is true. Spikes are sharp. Uh, what happened to my... My hammy hams? That's right there. Oh my god. Listen here, sir. You're gonna pay the price for that. Uh, 
Okay, I have shoes. Um, wow, this is a pretty tricky. Here we go. That is not the normal way to do that. Or I should say, not my normal way, rather. All right, here we go. I would love to dig up some ropes in here. That'd be so sweet. Hello, kitty kitty. Ropes. I goof that. Let's do it again. So... This timing is really tight, but if I do it perfect, we can get out of here. There it is. Perfecto. Okay, there's the bow scene. I actually need to go back up and around here, don't I? Sorry, kitty may not be getting you here. back for the bow in just a sec. In fact, I'm just going to leave the cat in here. We'll probably be back. Feeling much better now going from one rope to four ropes. Yo, Idolize DT, thank you so much for that gift. So much kindness today already. Just getting started. More statues good. That's more minis for the black market. Good on that. Oh, shrine time. Where's the sister at? Oh, man. I did that to myself. Where's the sister at? It's got to be behind the uh, area here. What about this play? Unless sister's on this right-hand side below. I don't think so, though. No? Nah. Oh, there's another layer below this. Okay. No, there's not. Dude, where is this, uh, sister? It's right here. Okay. Definitely not the bomb and rope I wanted to use, but, you know, we're here. Two bombs is pretty much minimum I want to have going into the level that's going to have the black market. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a... That was a noggin. Oh, okay. Here we go. Get this over there, and then I'll come back for the statue. Yeah, there it is. What a level. All right, let me get caught up. Thank you all for this hype train. Unbelievable. Uh, Mountain Dew, thanks for 
five months. Ayala's ET, thanks for that gift again. Stabby Sponge, 15 months and a tier three sub. Thank you. Teddy Baron, thanks for 87 and ABCD, 52 months. Mo. All right, so I'm going to say my odds of, um, you know, pilfering this hive are very low. Didn't hear a music change, so I don't believe that. Ow. Yeah, I don't believe the black market's here. It's one of my jumps I always get scared about, that little hop over the spikes. But here we are. Alright, well, you need to die. Oh, hey, we can just go around even better. Here's sister. There's no black market here. Yo, Orison, thanks so much for that five gifts sub package, man. Too kind, too kind. Did I really? I did. And there wasn't much getting out of using a rope there. This has been a, a weirdly uh, short resource run. Not a complaint, just an observation. Been, feels like there's been more spots this run where we've needed to use uh, stuff. Holy guacamole, dude. Alright, this guy needs to go. Okay, I hear the blip blap. Uh, I see the entrance below here. Perfect. Just looking around. Uh, well, well, you know. Somebody's got to do it. Okay, we got a statue over here as well, but I'm at uh, 100,000, basically. We'll be at 100,000 when we enter the market, so I'm not going to stress getting that little bit there. Okay, this should be sister number three, unless there's also a house. There's a house here, okay. Huh. All right, 100K going into the black market. That's nice. Let's see if we can see the sister over here. Should be bottom. There it is. All right. There's yellow cape. Hecky Borfman to you too, buddy. All right. Pretty light black market here. No spring shoes, no glove. Okay, I'll certainly uh, start. I'm going to go up and around because I do want to rescue the sister. And with the uh, skeleton key, we're going to be able to open that house that's below here. So rescuing the third sister will result in a 12 bomb gain, which I definitely want. I 
was a fun toss. Um, I'm gonna use a bomb here. Seems very smart. Man, oh man. Okay. Well. Here we go. No spring shoes, it's a little tougher. Ropes, love them. Even though it's going to cost me a decent amount of my rope resource, I'm still going to do Olmec in the hole here, because I can. I think this one cost me three or four ropes to get back up, since I have no glove. Definitely just going to go Tide Pool here to try to, well, get gear from Tusk and get gear from cloning the Humphead present. More equipment would definitely be appreciated. Yo, Gromkey, thanks for 500 bits, man. Appreciate that. Okay. It's going to cost me ro more ropes than I want, that's for sure. Okay, that's good to know. Is this it? That's it. Alright, we're going to take this Olmec, we're going to put it right into the hole, it's going down. So the Hadji Mass Tank will let us pull the sword from the stone inside of Taipool, or alternatively would allow us to access the City of Gold if we were going the temple route. Uh, Hadjit also has a passive night vision bonus, so between glasses and Hadjit, we have an additive effect which gives us torch vision, um, or complete torch vision inside of any dark area or level. Okay, I do need to collect the moonies here. We're not, like, loaded for Tusk right now. That was a dumb toss. Could have been a scorpion. Ha ha! That one was a scorpion. Leave that for the next guy. Fifty K is generally adequate. Let's do it to it. Here we go. Give me your juice, tiny crabs. Sauce Hunter, thanks so much for extending that subscription through December. Really appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. I know I say it all the time, but it's like truly, <laughs> truly amazed after all this time. We're still here doing this thing and no frills to boot. I'm a very lucky person. That didn't hit me? That was awesome. All right, then. 
All right, here's that glove I turned down earlier. Gloves and compass don't have that either. Nice. Spike shoes got those, but one shoe for each foot makes sense. Hell yeah! We will be replacing this jetpack with the, um... The yellow cape later on, but right now, great. Gotta say, Matic is a pretty cool thing to have, too. Alright, that's it. Jetpack will definitely make our onk skip easier. Anything over here? Nah, alright. Hey bud, you wanna help me out? You can help me out by telling me how sharp that is. Pretty sharp? How would you rate the sharpness from 1 to 10? Take your time. Obstinate son of a gun. Wouldn't even give me a straight answer. Alright, we got shrine here. We got turkey dude. Greetings, turkey feller. So, one option we do have here, rather than going for equipment, uh, with the thing would be to clone a bunch of health, which is a nice feel. But, I'm not gonna do that. Not this time. Let's actually just dig through here. There's the key D. Oh god, I almost got poisoned. Let's go bring the kitty back. So, hermit crabs are worth exactly zero sacrifice points. I'm gonna go for our equipment because both uh, spring shoes and glove would be awesome right now for trading out yellow cape later. I'll do it either way, but it's nicer this way. All right, where's the clone zone gonna be? This is gonna be the clone zone. Thank you, Deb Clapped. I'm sure we'll need it. It is Spelunky, after all. Get down here, you wily critter. He's helping! Alright, clone zone's right here. We're cloning and zoning. All right, boomerang freeze, double boomerang freeze ray power pack. That's certainly a haul. None of the things we wanted and everything we deserve. Here we go. Yo, rocketize animal. Thanks for 13 months. Appreciate that. Almost died.
All right, so we got a very weird area here. Scene. Okay, I saw the entrance. All right, so we're going to onk skip here. Uh, we're looking for pillars that don't have gold or gem in them. But really, we're looking for uh, pillars that don't have gems in them now. Uh, with the latest patch on gold dropping f straight down now, there shouldn't be any ricochet issues. So these three right here look real good. So we're going to put one rope on the outside, one rope on the outside here, one rope on the inside here. And then we're going to start our bomb chain from the outside because the explosion will start from the other side. So if we put the bomb here first, uh, this one's going to explode right away and our timing becomes very short. But if we put the bomb here, the explosion starts all the way on this side and we got a lot oodles of time. Here we go. The only trick to this technique is holding up while you place the bomb. All right, here we go. Greetings, hammy hams. Okay, I'm gonna guess without gloves I can still make this. We're about to find out. Oh yeah, easy. Tall onyx bat. I'm gonna check the back layer here too, just for equipment reasons. <laughs> Web gun, that's kind of like gloves, but not really. All right, cool. And guard your tiny crab, get out of here. Uh, the, usually the difference there, Mass Tank, is having the paste item, because paste makes you able to bomb the pillars, and then it costs two bombs instead of about 12, so that's the main difference. Paste is the determining item for that technique. Yo! Okay, okay. What's in what's in here? Let's actually see if there's um a shrine somewhere on this level, because we could do Eggy Boy here. Wouldn't hurt. What happens if you leave a present with Waddler? I've never done that before. Can you do that? And then if there's a shrine on 7-1, you can get the Eggy? Oh, I guess you don't get the eggplant child, so it doesn't matter. It was just an idea. Alright, there's no shrine here. You can't use back layer doors with presents. Okay, thanks for the clarification. That's not something I've ever tried, so now we know. Appreciate that. Right, I'm actually going to climb back up through the Yeti cave. Yeah, I hear you, dude. What I'm saying here is I should have just bought the present. Oh, you don't say. This is my first ever plasma cannon in a crate playing Spelunky 2. Not really going to use it, but I'm going to have some fun. Go 
Cool. Cool. All right, no regrets. Let's get out of here. I'm definitely not taking Plasma Rifle to Neobab. I'll tell you that right now. That is uh, a lost jetpack waiting to happen. Yeah, it's 0.1%. 1 in 1,000 is my understanding on Plasma Rifle uh, drop rate. Is this even the way? I'm just going to bomb here. Cool level, dude. So on runs now, uh, where we get uh, the ability to do Chilin skip before we go like Kingu, or before we go a uh, tide pool or temple, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to try to do elixir, elixir Chilin skip. But that's not a reality here. Oh, hey! Free Hampter. This looks like a double bomb. I know I still have to get the urn here too, but I believe it's bottom left. Okay, it's not bottom left. Gotta be over here then. What do? Did I just miss the urn area altogether? Where you at? Uh, right here. That was a weirdin'. Tall onyx bat. Tall onyx bat. Tall black urn with a bat on it. There's cracked onyx bat. Okay, there's some stuff I don't like about this side. Uh, here I am. Alright, tall onyx bat is not does not exist over here. There's simple onyx bat. There's a uh, cracked eye. It's gonna be top right here. There's smiling bat. We've seen all the bats. There's a tall bat right there. I think I probably saw this one and just glazed over it, huh? Maybe not. Here we go. Okay, we did go tide pool this time, so we can go to Madame's. We can get our free turkey dinner and other high roller associated rewards. Let's talk to the sister this time, too. Oh, no sister, that's right. Oh, there she is. Uba! Great party indeed. Let's fix this up. Wow, I almost lost my jetpack right there. Alright, I'm gonna go down through Madame's, is what that tells me. I will stay out, don't worry. 
This is not even the way. Holy guacamole, there's a bunch of stuff that's going to get thrown around here. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. I get it. Dang, dude, why'd you do that? You notice a real cool, simple level? No big deal. Extra simple, extra cool. I'll wait. Could have made that. Yo, Paul Funyan, thanks for 30 months of support. Glad they've been good for you. Thank you so much for that continuation. It means a lot. Takes a lot of people doing a lot of things to make this content full-time and no frills. Appreciate you. Okay, challenge is here. Great. Let's do the challenge. Bring the uh, bring the bow. Or bring the arrow to the bow. Holy crap, what is going on right now? Nothing good is the answer to that. I'm cursed. Okay, this is fine. I can still survive this. I mean, good news, we have a Kali Shrine outside, so not all bad. I'm going to keep my jetpack on for a minute. Uh, I will replace the jetpack with the cape before the level's over. But right now I need to focus on getting myself uncursed. There's our uncurse. Okay, no longer curse. Gonna grab four HP here. It's a uh, skippable cutscene, Ginger Locks. Always has been. Well, I mean, considering we got cursed inside the, uh, I mean, the challenge area, it's pretty good. Yes, curse sets you to one health and one health only, and you cannot heal until you have removed your curse, correct. That is how it works. It's scary. Alright, might as well. 12-5 for the ghoster in here? Man. Oh, man, I forgot to put the cape on. That's okay. We recovered the run. I'm just going to roll with this run, and we'll swap to yellow cape later. Or not at all. Maybe next run. Really not a very good run for cape anyways. Uh, we don't have spring shoes or climbing glove. Yeah, we're just going to roll with this one uh, as a jetpack run. No sweat. It's the nice thing about self-imposed challenges. They don't have to be super exacting. We can We can bend the rules a bit. However, if I find a cape here, I might swap into it. Okay. 
it's unlikely we'll find a cape this level. Okay, uh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, this is not good. We're fine. Oh, that was enough to kill me, alright. Ooh, our bow's probably crushed here. Very likely. Uh, we'll need to stay right where we were, so I'm gonna try to stay center here to see if we can get the bow not crushed. We did die to damage, yes. Uh, so the damage we died to was that we... I'm trying to think how to say this. We took... Thanks, water. Is our bow alive? Probably not. Definitely not. So, okay, a win's a win. Uh, the arrow does 10 damage, so I took 10 damage and then another damage from the frog. Okay, GG. That was a fun run. A nice warm-up, even. Definitely was not a run that was destined for yellow cape. No spring shunt, shoes or gloves, or uh, other stuff. A good one, though. Oh, sorry, punching the mic. Very nice. Taru, thanks for 34 months during that run. Much appreciation. Nice run, Alto. Oh, let's grab a new character here. That's a good, uh, good warm up on Alto. Who's next? I'm gonna do a run as Manfred. My man, looking good with that eye patch.
I'll wait. Oh, I can't get back up there, can I? Oh, this definitely doesn't look possible. It's not. It's uh, pretty straightforward how to get to Cosmic Ocean Paper Guild. I mean, it's not, like, super obvious, but there's plenty of hints and stuff in the game, yeah. Very obvious there's a final objective when you play through the game, see the challenge areas and stuff. Okay, Puppers is down there. That's where the key area is. Good. Oh, snap. It's fine. Plenty of space. Where's this key at? It's not down there. No, there's actually a way to get back up without using a rope, but uh, it is very, and I mean very precise. I'm right, just going to use a bomb and a rope here. Bomb and a rope. All right, here we go. I'm going to toss try to get back in the exact same position. Oh, okay, a little bit far, a little bit far. All characters in Spelunky 2 handle the same. No, no functional difference between the characters other than their uh, art. Okay, hold on. Let's leave this here for a minute. Put the turkey in the turkey taming spot. Get tamed, you turkey. Alright, this turkey's going down. What have we got in here? Okay, Maddox, definitely interesting, especially seeing this. Uh, what's down there? Ooh, it's Glove. Finally. It's been like five runs without a Glove. Yellow Cape, or, uh, Glove significantly, um synergizes with yellow cape. Kalima! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and buy Matic here. I'm gonna go back for Mr. Squeakums. Uh, two minutes right now. Let's get all this stuff done and drop this down. Oops. Sorry about that. Top of your store there. Okay, I'll get back up with the turkey. Perfect. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds. I think I'm gonna kill Yang here. Sorry, Yang. This goes down right here. Fifteen seconds, here we go. Oh, 
Oh no. We're all good. This is Juicy Cup right here. I don't know which side the ghost is coming in from. I'm hoping right. Parachute. Okay, it's left. Oh. He got me. I wasn't expecting to drop to the second platform there. Alright, let's do a quick restart there. My bad. Just got spelunky, that's all. Not even anything over here. I already set that off, right? Okay. Look at this juicy store. All right, let's start here. Damn, Manfred, that was spot on. I'm just not going to get the cape here. That's fine. That was pretty close to a perfect toss. I don't know, Reginald, was it? I certainly didn't see it. Okay, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Spike shoes would be nice. Boy, that's a lot of arrow traps. I know we're not going to rescue the turkeys here. That's for sure. I wish. Rescue the turkey there. Oh, snap. I did that. Oh, I cursed the turkey. Cursed turkey headbutt. Morph. 
I thought I could jump over that. I was wrong. Gloves, we can collect all of the moonies. I'm gonna take puppers with me down on the right hand side, and then climb back up. This could be a run where Vlad's cape can make some sense. I just, I do like going jungle for the chance at the other equipments for yellow cape. You know, with the, having the gloves already, though, I could do, um, could do Chilin Skip. See how the money rounds out on this side before we make a decision. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go Volcano. van down here or is this a a shop it's a shop spring shoes scene so let's take a look where's that entrance at okay it's one layer below so it is right here right her oh boy we sprung in now Tell me Van's Prison's over here, please. Ooh, this too? Okay. Van's Prison is here. There's a couple sacrifices, albeit very dangerous. Uh-oh, dude, you're gonna you're gonna have a problem down there, just so you know. That <laughs> didn't even kill him? Okay. Here we go. Now we're bipping and we're bopping. Was the hammy hams though? I'm gonna go look up here real quick. Got a bit of a feeling here. Hecky Borfman. And was this a level there was a helping hand on? You like it was? Uh, no. That was last level. Alright. I accept. Alright, turkey there. Ah, dang, that was a level right there. So what I'm going to try to go for here is we're going to take Vlad's cape and we're going to try to do chill and skip. So we're going to go temple route, 
with the Nako City of Gold uh, in Duant. Since we're going to replace that jetpack anyways. enough exploring for me. Money le much less relevant on this route. It's always good to have some in the hold, but no bigs. Why'd you do that to my main pepperonis? My main main pepperonis. Here we go. Shrine right away. Uh-oh, he's trapped. I love ropes. I might come back here, we'll see. How's it going up there? At least it'll be available for next level if there's a shrine. Hmm. This looks spicy as heck. Wow. <laughs> Just a little bit of cheese sauce. Yo, hey, dude, here's the thing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, man. Why'd you do that, Mr. Health? Sirs? That was not helpful. All right, now I gotta try to recoup my shrine points. Uh, I'm actually gonna drop the drill here. I wasn't gonna do this, but... Um, I'm gonna need to get the help back up here to, you know, finish that off. All right, there's the Gidi. All right, so with this, we should be basically back to where we were. Oh, I did that. GG, GG. It was a fun run. Let's go back to camp here. Let's pick a new character. I'm going to take a quick restroom break, and then we'll hop right back in. Uh, let's go for Margaret. That's Manfred's daughter. She'll get the job done. Also got cool purple outfit. All right, excuse me for just one moment. Just a quick restroom break, and we'll be into another run of Spelunks.
Alrighty, we're back. Let's uh let's do it again. Let's see how this one goes. Let's take a penguin, put it in the hole real quick. There it is. Well, that last run was very promising, but it just wasn't quite the one. I feel like I may be playing a little bit fast today, but happy with the execution of it. It's definitely been a pep step in day, though, that's for sure. Give me the moonies. Here we go. Yeah, nice hypnotic. Because I like Marga. She uh, stands out really well on the background of all the levels. Um, I like all the characters, but her her outfit specifically, I think, is very easy to easy to read. We can make it back out of here. Awesome. <laughs> That's certainly a thing that can happen, yeah. Hmm. Greetings, Yang. I don't really want to look for turkeys right now. Sorry. Um. Okay, I can't get that without a turkey. Fair. like a little flash in the pan there and disappear. I needed the turkey tame before the the bat aggroed to get back up here without using a rope. Yeah, as soon as I pressed through, I could tell that was one dead piece of poultry. Big time. Big time dead time. Alright, there's the dwelling. Nice. Oh, B, dude, really? 22,000 for the jetty, huh? You know, this is 1-3. I'm going to steal this. to steal this after turning this in. <laughs> Ow. Key is heavy. Got it. Interesting. Wow, that was the perfect toss, Margaret. The perfect toss. The reason I'm willing to steal here on 1-3, but not as usually as willing to steal on 1-2, is that... On 1 4, the exits are very consistent and easy to get out of. Alright, let's bomb here. Would love more ropes.
Get wrecked. Okay, since we have jetpack already, and well, this is getting ahead of ourselves, my plan is that uh, I'm going to go jungle. And then I'm going to go temple, and we're going to skip Duot again, because we're going to try to chill and skip with the jetpack and keep Elixir, Onk, and Yellow Cape. I think Elixir and Yellow Cape would be the best synergy for Cosmic Ocean. That's my feel. Just going to be really careful here. Pretty good. Should be forgiven here. Yep. Punch statue damage is not my fault. Thank goodness. Okay, I saw a bear trap over there. Shoddy? I don't know about that. Not feeling particularly violent today. Ali Ma. Borf. Okay, paste over there too. Beautiful. Wrong shoe. Life's looking good right now. Okay, that's tough. One more live or dead body to get the the juicy cup. Pace get. Hey, look, it's a dead guy. Yeah, it's funny how uh, just the addition of the ghost turn in Spelunky 2 uh, minimizes shotgun usage. Definitely not a complaint, it's just you have to be much more careful with the shotgun in this game. Still a very good item, but less to use unless you're on a spicy run. I'm really not interested in comparing the two games against each other, um, Dragon's Craft. They're both, uh, rock-solid titles. Comparing things like that is the road of suffering, my friend. More Kalima. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, Buzzy Cyan, the ghost turn, when you crack it, the ghost is summoned, which chases you down and can one-shot kill you. It's pretty slow, but you don't want the ghost summoned um, ahead of time. That normally happens at three minutes, so the reason we carry the ghost urn down is to get the money out of it at the last possible second. A very fair question.
Uh, so you know, that probably sounds like Monolith, if I had to guess. Um, you know, I'm gonna use one bomb here, because I can. Yeah, the ghost will split at the one minute mark, regardless of when it was summoned. Correct. So from the moment the urn's broken, that timer is ticking. You got it. Alright, there's a bear trap right there next to this guy. That's scary. What? How is that a C? I disagree, dude. I disagree so much, you're going on the shrine, buddy. Okay, sister's down there, I saw it. Okay, we got a juicy cut. This is a juicy moment right there. Go, go, go. go. Going back up. One last stop. Last one. I think we're like one sacrifice point away from another jelly after this. So looking pretty decent. Yes, Mummy Farm is definitely still a thing in Spelunky 2. <laughs> Mummy Farm's usually only relevant inside of um, Cosmic Ocean unless you're doing the skip like we are here. Uh, that's a big old no thanks from me. I'm just going to go around here here. And by it. <laughs> I deserve that one. I don't disagree with the damage game. Don't appreciate it either, though. Is this a voice echoes level? It's got a feel to it. Hold up. There's two of these? What the hell? This is definitely a voice echoes level. I'm sure of it now. You can do exclaim suggest your goodie, though. I will say that uh, the best place currently to suggest the game is in the game suggestions channel in our Discord. That's what I most commonly use when I'm looking at games currently. I do check the suggestion link as well, but um, the channel in the Discord is the most consistent way. All right, I'm not leaving here without finding the sister. And you know what? One bomb for 10 grand, I'm in. Alright, it's not up here, so the sister has to be on the very bottom floor. There she is. No, there she isn't. I've been bamboozled. 
Man, there's double uh, cubby area and a, a house on this level. That's a lot. There's the house. Where's the sister, man? Is it possible that this level generated without a sister by accident? Um, I'm really feeling that way right now. Like... I think it generated this second cubby instead of the sister. Yeah, it generated double cubby and house instead of sister. So that's a very rare occurrence. Um, I've only seen this one other time, uh, and it was also on a voice echoes in here level. I'm just gonna, you know, do a tertiary check here, make sure that we didn't miss um, some obvious thing here. Last spot would be down here. Yeah, no. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in here then. I would definitely classify that as a bug. Let me try bombing here. Okay. That's right, we won't get all the sisters on this run because of that. Nothing's guaranteed. Though it's very uncommon for the sisters not to spawn like this. Okay, there's that. Let's go here. And we're off. All right, I caught up here. Dualism 04. Thanks for 28 months in part four. Thanks for 51. Enjoy your continued lurk, partner. Boy, God. Okay, where'd this leprechaun go? I want my treasures. Okay, heard blip down there. Okay. Ow. That's my face. Is it here? It's gonna be here. man pretty good we got 107,000 right now that's enough to go to Bonanzaville that's for sure okay I do plan on doing Chilin skip so I don't need the uh, Hadji but I'm probably just gonna buy it cuz why not Are you saying we found the sister on the uh, voice echoes level uh, poker chip? If so, I definitely want to collect the one here. Let's check our um, journal real quick. That should show us. Okay, thank you, poker chip. Appreciate you saying that. It was very confusing on that last level. So uh, we did find the sister. 
Thanks for catching that. I appreciate it. That means we're definitely going to go get the sister on this level, which is going to be over here somewhere. Maybe? There she is. Huh? Cool, we got our 12 bombs now. Well, thanks to Poker Chip, we're going to be able to play Olmec in the hole now. What a champion. What a hero. Um, where did I put down my bow? Anybody? Oh, jeez. What have I done? Did I leave it in the black market? That'd be a place thing I do. Must have. It's gotta be in the black market. Probably by the Hajit, if I had to guess. I usually leave it at the Hajit or at the exit. Exit, then. Okay, I'm good. I will legitimately walk all the way back around not to do that. Okay, here we go. You know what time it is. Time for everybody's favorite game. Olmec in the hole. Okay, the only uh, equipment we're missing right now is green gloves. Seems to be a theme of these yellow cape 799 attempts. That's all right. I can do without. Gonna make sure that wasn't a scorpion. Okay, I feel better already. Yes, Yellow Cape is a self-imposed challenge. You got it. Going down. Give me that sweet jingle jangle.
Alrighty, down we go. Oh, that's right. I can hit that platform. I remember now. Okay, I don't technically need this scepter here because we're not going city of gold doesn't mean it's like a bad thing to have on hand That's a little weird. I'm out of here. Nice time to have Hajit right here. Is that a shrine? It was. Alright, I'm probably going to be getting some access to that. I don't see why not. Oh, did you get resurrected? There's a necromancer down here. Quite. Okay, well... No, get out of the ton shop! Bless America. Okay, we're not getting, um... We're not getting our elixir now. Whoops. Can't get a bunch of sacrifice points, though. It was still worth a try. <laughs> um... I mean, honestly, I might as well go through the City of Gold. I will not be sacrificing here, but the exit was safer, for sure. All right, little buddy. Uh, Mulvin, the Kingu is not on the same route as the Scepter, so those two things will never overlap. You either go Tide Pool or Temple. So if you somehow got a scepter um, to Kingu, yes, I do believe it would lock onto the shell. Okay, cool. Thanks for the clarification that it's been seen in Randomizer, and you have to break the shell before it can damage. Makes sense. Yes, we are doing the Chilin skip here. That's right. That's the plan. Oh, Tun's here, and she's very mad. Mildly upset. Well, to be fair, I did accidentally kill Tun, so... Um, is it true that if you sacrifice Tun's body on the shrine, it drops aggro? Is that still a thing? 
I kind of feel like the damage I'd have to do two ton to get her on the sacrifice would re-aggro faster. Or be more of a problem. But if I can just kill her and then put the body on the shrine, I will. All right, the body disappears here. There's more complications with this than just that. So it had to be a live body sacrifice. That's not happening. No worries. Ton will be de aggro by the time we reach uh, Sunken City. Easy. So Ton shows up at the 30 second mark uh, after you've aggroed uh, each level. Just want to put some distance between me and Ton here. Very much like a Crocoman, a ton has a really amazing ability to find her way down to you. Whoa, dude. That's scary. I missed my jump. Excuse me. That was not the toss, by the way. Oh, hey, Ton! Hey, 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 here's the thing, ma'am. You're right, I did accidentally fire the scepter into your, uh, vicinity. My bad. Yo, Retire Rampage, thanks for 21 months. 21. Appreciate that a lot. That's tough. Just looking. 41 health quite a bit here. I'm just going to drop down. Actually, you know what? Um, probably should have killed that for rope. Anyways, no matter where you go, there you are. We're right here. Yo, Brian's bag. Thanks for that prime sub. Appreciate the continuation. Almighty Joker 79. Thanks for 54, man. Thank you. Thank you. We're very kind people today. Well, that's some spaghetti stuff right there. Excuse me, I did not order any spaghettis. All right, no earn this time. We're we're skipping. We're trying to. Yikes, man! Wow. Okay. Hey, awesome, right? I'm glad you've been enjoying the YouTube content as well. Thanks for being here. Appreciate that. Just just a couple spike things there, or spark balls. It was more than one, I'm certain on that. Uh, this looks like a very worthy bomb to me. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put a bomb here just for safety. Safety reasons. 
Mosquito and Telefrag. Cool. I'm just going to do rope method here because it's safer. Oh no! Okay. We might actually live through this. That was totally my bad. Oh no, this is it. I just jumped off of the rope like I still had uh, fuel on my, uh, my jetpack, which I did not. All right, I don't really have any desire to do the um, the bubble climb, so I think we'll just call that good. I'll give it one solid try here. If I had climbing glove, I I would like to try the backless uh, climb up the right hand side, but uh, we don't have that. Almost. This one looks pretty good. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> what a way to go. GG. A very good run. We did miss the elixir because of the scepter, and uh, a good attempt on the skip there. I just made a single mistake at the end. Uh, otherwise, execution was nice. All right, guys, we're going to swap over to uh, some balloons now. You know, some good Spelunky attempts today. Not our day for Spelunky, I don't think. Some nice practice, though. All right, where are we right now? What are we on for candies? What's available here? Hut's nice. Spike Factory's nice, too. So is Gatling Gunner, for that matter. More importantly, which maps are our medals on? Okay. Well, we got bonus rewards here on Cargo, an advanced map. That's nice. Workshop bonus rewards, a toughie. Let's try Cargo here. I'm going to choose a different hero. Uh, the hero we're going to choose for... This is going to be Admiral Brickle, I think. Admiral on deck. Double HP Moabs are impoppable. Let's try impoppable. All right, Brickle's going right here. So my hope is that Brickle will build up mine resource um, on the Moab waves. There it is. Uh, free dart monkey gonna go. Just plop him right in here somewhere.
All right, please excuse me for just one sec. Just refill my water real fast, and then we'll head into this um, advanced map attempt here on cargo. All right, thanks for your patience during that very brief one there. Uh, so on this map, uh, on wave 40, these trucks disappear and Moabs come down this wave. So we need to prepare uh, mostly on this side and here, because the Moabs come from this side and the regular balloons come from over here. And we're off. You know, it could just probably be pretty good right here, like a pirate ship. It's a tough sell. Does this one remove after 40? I think it does. Okay, I'm going to stick a, a mage right here, I think. And then I'm going to give this mage increased range. All right, gotta keep in mind that in pop, but we can do some income as well, so... How much of that do we want to do? A little bit, at least. Alright, so I'm gonna get Intense Magic uh, Monkey Sense set up here. And then put down a Sniper Roni. I'm thinking maybe Income Sniper with a main Moab complement could be really nice here. I don't know if this prepares us for 40 or not, but this is what I'm gonna do. Does Alchemist fit on this side? 
Boy, howdy, he does. Okay, I want faster firing here. Do I want it yet? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Once this uh, unclears, maybe maybe some like just subs isn't a bad idea. I bet subs could win this map. Uh, Gatling Monkey's fine on this map. Honestly, nothing too special. Alright, so I'm gonna put down a May Moab, or Moab Mauler down here, in the very corner. All the Moabs come in from this side, so. I also believe if I just save my money here, I can make it to Moab Assassin, which will simplify my life. Probably removing this, too. Alright, as soon as we're done with Wave 40, I'm gonna get the uh, Supply Drop, and then the, the next level. Uh, and then probably put Alchemist down here, main Moab Sniper, a few other things. Would be real cool if we get the activated ability here. I think we make this. Should be a little over 1k here. No, we might still be fine. Yeah, we're good. Must be lunchtime, there's kitties about. Oh, I see we're losing our firewall on this side. That's fair. Alright, before I go into the next tier here, I am going to make this um, sniper the only buffing target for this alchemist. Wrong. Actually, I'm going to keep it on first. It's going to be here um, almost always anyways. It costs 500 to remove after we get Elite Sniper going. Really? Does he take a buff?
Yikes. Alright, this will be a significant improvement. I actually want intense magic here. Okay, let's remove this. Now that I think we've kind of stabilized here, I'm going to put down tech bot as well. Keep the money flowing. I'm going to turn off auto start too. It's about that time. So, 63 is definitely uh, coming up. It's definitely a wave. buy arcane spike here I'm gonna put a recursive cluster bomb shooter right here I don't know if we're making recursive cluster before that way but this will be excellent for the Moab cleanup We're making it. Uh, let's go for missile launcher in this case. Okay, do I have any real vision gaps right now? I don't. Alright, next up, I'm going to do this. Give moonies, please. All right, next up is Mame Moab Sniper. Uh, we're going to give this guy... 
perishing potions as well. This is going to be a shrapnel shot made Moab, certainly. So the tier 5 middle level sniper gives us, um, interesting that was out the range, uh, gives us an additional 15% faster fire, maybe it's even more than that on this guy. It's a significant bonus, let's just say that. Alright, I'm gonna grab the upgrade on the Alchemist now, and then we're gonna be uh, building a sub ball, I think, is the, what I'm gonna do. Stronger stimulants. These are probably all in the range of the Admiral. Let's find out. So those all are in the range of the Admiral. Good. Let's make you AP darts. I think I'm a little bit worried about is revealing camo um, when we get to the later waves. Nineties definitely looking weird right now. How about if we did a hut here, right, with jungie drums? And also increased radius. Yeah, that's looking better already. Did I get it? Not quite in the hut range. That's tough. I got an idea. I'm gonna sell off this guy. I'm gonna build these uh, four up to AP darts, and then I'm going to put down an alchemist over here as well. And then I'm gonna build crossbow master at this location. That's my idea. That'll give the subs pretty much full map vision. Junkie drums. All right, here we go. This one's going to be on faster throwing. Harm 113. Thanks for eight months. Sorry for not seeing that sooner, dude. And in cab 1791. Thanks for 43 months. Cheers. Oh, another very valid option to fill in the range of camo vision would just be to put a sticky bomb ninja down here, which certainly would work good. Does he fit over here? Oh, is there a spot? Almost. All right, let's do it here. I'm less worried about the regular waves currently. Getting sticky bomb applied immediately should be awesome. This also allows the subs to ambush from even closer. I think saving up for sub commander is a very viable option currently. What level is the Admiral? He should be 20 by round 100, which means we can uh, nuke the bad right here. It's all about surviving for that long.
Yeah, Super Saranum is getting shredded right now. Beautiful. I think in sub commander probably has a little more impact right now than um Archmage. Though we can certainly afford either, but probably not both. Gonna make this guy the sub commander and then do as many subs in the radius with uh airburst darts as possible. I mean he pretty much doubles the damage of subs. Pretty impressive feat. Let's not forget the Admiral's ability to boost up uh, Water Monkeys here, too. Ooh, that's going to be a hard one to click. It's getting closer than you want. We'll just add more projectiles. All right, I'm going to throw another buffer in here because I can. There is the small chance they overlap and buff the same target, but that probably won't happen. It's not very likely. Oh, okay, it's doing map wide. I get it now. Is anybody here not AP darts? Everybody's AP darts. Okay. Oh, there's the Admiral level 20. So now this mine is like way more powerful. We want to have it up for round 100 because we can nuke the bad um, at the beginning of the round with that. It's the entire reason I chose Brickle here. I'm going to add this one in. I'm curious here. The line of sight's blocked a little bit. I'm just going to remove this now because I can. All right, 97 will be relatively chill. It's just double reinforce ZOMG. I'm going to put this down now.
All right, so my plan is on 99, I'm going to use the ability, and then on 100, I'm going to use this ability. Wow, we crushed 98. Okay, as soon as I see reinforced DDTs, I'm popping the Admiral. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Alright, this little blops around 100 right here. Boom. Mostly blops. Hell yeah, we did it. Forty-five candies. Little unexpected victory there. These are all really nice uh, instas. I think I'm gonna go for a hut though. I got a got a thing for huts. All right, four zero zero. What I like about taking HUD Insta Monkeys is on like boss attempts. If you're going to use Insta Monkeys, it's a really um, efficient spot for them. All right, what's next here in advanced? Okay, underground, it's back. I guess what we're doing now is we're doing chimps attempts on underground. Uh, we've done a lot of chimps attempts on this particular map. Um, let's get this done and get our third advanced map black border right now. Yo, Adania, thanks for an awesome year. Appreciate that 12 months. Thank you. I am not using the 2x money, no. Only monkey knowledge here. And uh, not on this one. Because chimps. All right, everybody, I will be back in just a few short minutes here. Uh, I'm going to stand up, stretch, take the same break. We take on the same time every single broadcast. So grab a quick snack here. My breakfast, in fact, will just be about five minutes. No ads or anything like that. Please do enjoy any kitties that may or may not appear during our brief intermission. Uh, we will be back soon.
Alrighty, we have returned. What good kitties we had on break. They're always so good when there's food involved. Yo, during that break, Kiyomu, thanks for 60 months. Appreciate that five years. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so I got an idea. We've been trying a bunch of stuff on this map. Um, what I want to do is set up a figure eight plane right in the dead center of this one. Daisy is absolutely part bingy. There's no doubt about it. I'm, I'm trying to remember in my head here, like, what exactly we started with last time that worked. I don't remember. I think next what we did was we put a druid down. Right here. Right here. I don't think we're getting away without using at least one druid on this map. That's right, we did do double druid last time. That's correct. Let's go ahead and place our plane now. We're 865. Oh yeah, we tried a bunch of stuff for starts. We just had something really stable last time we stopped. All right, how am I gonna make sure this thing is like perfectly center? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this triangle right here on both sides since the art is just mirrored uh, or mostly mirrored here. Uh, it's definitely symmetrical on this map. So we're gonna use this triangle in between the two uh, slats of wood here. Uh, and try to get this evenly placed in between. Uh, we know from a previous test we did last time that the distance up and down is the same as far as placing a hut on the edge here or here and reaching another unit. So uh, I think it's safe to assume that visually where the center is here is the center of this particular map. Okay, how are we going to do left to right now? All right, left to right, we're looking at the spacing away from these slats right here. We want the distance to be equal between those after we get it centered. Okay. So centering up and down looks pretty good. Now we're going to go left and right. Um, honestly, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's a little bit uh, south right now. Nudge this. That looks spectacular. Now this guy is going to be... Right here. This is definitely going to be Bomber Plane, yes. Sky Shredder would also be good here. I could use Sky Shredder with Pineapples. Sky Shredder Spy Plane.
The trick to Sky Shredder on this map would be putting ourselves in a position to afford it. Let's take a look at the upgrades here. Uh, Sar Bomba could definitely be a thing. I like the idea of Bomber with this level of track coverage. Okay, let's see if this thing still fits. I'm going to guess it does not fit where we want it to. It'll fit over here. Okay. What will fit above and below this? Okay, we can get Ninji in there. That means that Ice Monkey would fit. How's Engineer feeling? He fits. Does Mage fit? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm actually going to restart this real quick. And the reason is uh, we can't fit a hut and Sauda on this side, but we can on this side. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing. But get discount on these guys. What does this look like? Not good enough. Okay. We'll still get a discount. We're just going to... I'm going to forfeit the discount on these two. I'm not going to reset. I'm going to grab Druid of the Jungle, Hard Thorns. Neither of these units need to be super upgrade to be highly effective here. I have so far been building huts and then building my units for the central area, so this will be kind of working around this placement. It's going to be interesting, let's say that. Hmm. Sure feels like with jungle drums we'd reach both. I'm going to try this placement, and if it doesn't work, then I will reset it. But it's time to get some discounts. Did it work? It worked. Good. Okay, thanks for that observation, only real bad, and we'll check that in a moment. fire even more darts pineapples I bet the rate of pineapple drops increases as you go down this line so sky shredder or not sky shredder sar bomba probably drops a ton of these Ooh, I like that idea, uh, phase of a Dark Knight army. Never tried that one before. Loendor, thanks for 37. Tyler Lee, thanks for 3. And Derbarta, thanks for 35. Thank you, thank you. That's nice. Uh, I don't think so. Just while we're checking this out, I'm just going to stick with the one hut here. We'll keep it simple, keep it cool. Let's play something else that's really high value, like... Um... Oh, I don't know. How about just a Moab Mauler over here? That seems like a keep it simple, keep it cool moment. Let's go 
right here since all the major waves start on this side. I actually think that offsetting the uh, Moab damage here could be decent. Uh, it will still reach this track with range upgrades, but having more Moabs destroyed on one side uh, softens the blow for the stuff in the middle if they're receiving staggered damage rather than even damage Moabs coming towards the center. So I'm going to try this right here. Here's an idea, Emil. What if we did, uh, I'm not going to this run, uh, helicopters with alchemist buff and razor rotors, and then just place them uh, without pursuit up here? I bet downdraft could work okay here too, but would fail on later waves. Manual helicopter could work good here too, though it'd be probably too slow to um, to stop much. Could even put razor rotors right here, uh, star and end of the track. It's a good spot for downdraft as well. I think on chimps mode on this difficulty that it'd be very possible. The balloons would move too fast for a downdraft heli. I don't know that, though. Just uh, hypothesizing. All right, this time I'm putting the Sniper and Druid on this side. Then we can go to the Discount Zone. Can't believe we got that um, advanced impoppable done on Cargo our first go there. Subs sure are good. Only done the uh, substrat a handful of times. Uh, still working on optimizing that. Let's check the tooltip here. Um, correct. Level 13 is when Sauda can pop all types of balloons. True, Keltai, the Admiral was the hero of that attempt. I think I'll be using Admiral for double HP Moabs as well. Alright, I'm gonna go for... Let's call it... Thorn Swarm. No. Watch out, he's waffling. I just want to get my placement sorted out here. Okay, so again, we're looking at the middle two wood railroad tracks here. And then we're also looking for a relatively equal distance on the uh, 45 degree angles on the circumference. Uh, so here and in the middle. I'm trying to get this perfectly placed in the center. It definitely has some wiggle room, but I love like trying to figure out placements. This looks pretty good. I feel like we might be a little bit... No, that's pretty good. It's pretty even. All right, now we can go figure eight and we have near 100% track coverage or on time on the track.
Okay, I'm not currently ready for 28. Let's just keep that in, in mind. Okay, there we go. Everybody's in the the discount zone. Thorns. I'm going to put him on strong for the moment. Round 33, we're going to need camo help. I think that's going to be a very simple spy plane right now. Actually curious if that covers 33. Sauda usually does. This should ensure it. Figure 8 somehow better here? I don't think so. Or figure infinite, rather? No. No, it's not. Alright, this is a little spoopy right here. How far over does this reach? Can I fit two units here? I certainly can. So I'm not going to try to cluster these in together this time. There's going to be a unit here, unit here, 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 ish, right there, and then one over here as well. Cool. Well, I know a unit that keeps it simple and also keeps it cool. Let's put this down right here. This is such a nice spot for Ninja. Let's get this Druid going. I'm gonna put him on first as well. First seems to actually pop the lead better. <laughs> it's kind of funky because it's leaving the brambles in front, which can also pop lead thanks to the hard thorns upgrade. Yes, jungle drums definitely does improve the efficiency of the plane, certainly. So does this. It makes more bombs drop. All right, next. Definitely not going to make st Sticky Bomb by the time 40 arrives. Before 50, though, we can definitely do that. I think the bomber placed right here with range... Uh, should be able to reach from the entrance to the exit. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna go for the range here as well. Certainly not bad. making this before round 40, are we? <laughs> we sure are. No? Oh, man, that's tough. I just mistimed my ability usage there. That's fair. I'm gonna do the same thing, because I think this is a very working system. I see the way forward with it. Yep, I agree with that, Sargos. We did a lot of Ice Monkey on our uh, attempts last time we played. Our problems on this one have been mostly 98 and 100 with the very short track. So trying to get some things that can either amplify damage um, around that or blow it up completely. Let's get this lined up properly. A little bit higher here. A little to the right. Looks good to me. As far as I can tell, everything up to 40 was very easily handled by that. I think we can cut the ninja out of the build. Oh yeah, this is a nicer placement. We get a little further south with this. Might even be able to fit in a second plane right here, which is a very good spot uh, in the influence of the HUD, even before bigger radius. Neat. Hey, Nate Bry, thanks for 48 months, four years of support. My thanks. Uh, Action Jackson, you can fit two planes in here, but the uh, track coverage is very important to be centralized on this particular placement. Okay, let's go here and go strong. That'll really solve quite a few things. 
It doesn't help if there's a slip, though. I'm gonna keep one first. The track coverage is especially important because we're on chimps mode and we don't have access to the wing monkey uh, targeting. Wing monkey is very good on this particular map. Okay, drew the jungles out. We're looking good now. Uh, I'm going to put him on strong now. That would definitely be good, Black Knight. That'd be a very good use of the uh, the pool power. Okay, let's grab a spy plane right now in this. All right, now I'm going to put down the Moab Mauler. I really like the placement on this right-hand side. It was getting a full loop here. Uh, this is the side the bad comes on, so I, I think I'd rather prefer it be weighted towards the, uh, the end. Really? So this time... It's a little further placed to the south than the north. You know what? That's still okay. I'm just going to push it as far over left as I can. And well, we can still fit a ninja in the right and left-hand side. Maybe even room for three placements down here. Only two in the hut radius, though. There it is. Now let's tuck it here. Hmm. So the issue is that the hut's a little bit lower than the plane. So this this zone right here is pinched. We have a bottleneck going down this way. Let's see if uh, like an icy monkey fits in here. Okay, so we can fit a small unit in that spot, but not a cannon. Fair enough. That's how it's going to be. Let's go for bigger bombs this time. Alright, so I'm going to get Moab Assassin here. And this time I'll have it in time for the cooldown to be up as round 40 begins, which solves it completely. We can fire the Moab Assassin and then use Sauda's ability to erase the ceramics. Then this should open up a little bit. Okay, we're definitely good here. Gotta buy this as soon as it's up, but we're there. There we go. Get dunked. Let's go bigger radius next. And Jungie drums. And I'm gonna place another plane right here. Okay. So since we know this uh, is centralized, what I want to do is get this one offset here. So I'm using the edge of the pad right here to line up the other plane. Right there. It's still pretty good. It's not perfect. It's not as good as this one. I guess just over a little bit more would have been slightly better. What other uh, options do we have here? No, this will still be good. 
not going to be upgrading this for a while. It'll just put in the work right now. So I think next time I'm going to use the uh, the line here on the warning landing zone to line it up, and that should put the uh, should put the radius right in there. Should. Oh, that's sweet. We can still get the discount here. Okay, let's build a rock star unit here in Prince of Darkness, and then we can then we can really go into what we want to. Though I am sure Prince of Darkness is going to cover almost every problem we're going to have for a while. I remembering correctly here, I think we make Prince of Darkness before round 63 now. Uh, crew, so on this particular path, on the middle path plane, the more the overlap happens on the track, the more uptime the bombs have. So that's the goal of these placements, is to have them be uh, directly over the track, if possible. Alright, 50 was no problem. I feel like we're gonna have like a breakthrough on like 57 or something if I don't amplify. I'm going to grab Sticky Bomb here. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, I'm going Prince of Darkness first because it puts in more work. Though I'm very interested in going Ground Zero and perhaps even Sarbamba. All right, let's have our build order right now look like Prince of Darkness, Main Moab Sniper, uh, Sarbamba. I think we can make that work. Prince of Darkness alone should cover through about... Ninety-three. I don't know if we're making it. How much is it? Twenty-eight? Twenty-five? Maybe twenty-five. What a wave. Okay, we did not make Prince of Darkness. Uh, I definitely think we need more down for 63. Uh, 
uh, bottle of beer. Those are the reanimated balloons that are being created by the necromancer monkey here. It's tough when you have this money, which funny because there's so many options of what you can do. It's hard to imagine here that getting an icy monkey down would hurt. Uh, another very solid option would just be recursive cluster bomb shooter. Glue isn't as much help on 63 as you'd think. Not with this uh, short of a track, anyways. Recursive Cluster is the cleanest solve here. Can I fit Recursive Cluster up here still in the discount zone? Oh, I can. You know what? I'm going to save a placement on inside here by doing this. Eh, I'm waffling. All right, I know where the rest of my money is going. We're going to put it here. It's a pretty primo location to be putting uh, just a tier four uh, bomb shooter. We're going to go missile launcher. It's OK, though. Oh, hey, get extra pierce. OK, I think with the primary training purchase there. It's going to be all good. Yeah, OK, that was the difference. Uh Oh, I missed some chops there. We're good. OK, now we can save up for Prince of Darkness for sure. Maybe. Uh Oh, spaghettis. The spaghetti is cooked. I repeat, the spaghetti is cooked. Yes, we could have easily afforded two recursive clusters there, but the recursive cluster is more of a patch than a <laughs> unit we're technically saving for. This is what I want right now, because after I buy this, it gets simpler for a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put you on strong. Nah, first. Now we're saving for main Moab Sniper. And now do I want this one on faster firing or shrapnel? Normally I would say shrapnel is the take. But for wave 100, the faster firing is considerably more damage versus the bad. I'm going to go faster firing this once. Uh, Zalana, the Prince of Darkness will cover our camo needs here. The central placement and the shimmer going slightly outside of that. Everything in here will be uh, good. There's another advantage of this particular build is we're not relying on MIB. Which at the end of the day is pretty expensive. All right, now we're going to go uh, ground zero.
Pretty cool looking build, man. I mean, bless it, there's near 100% uptime on those bombs. Graveyard seems to be staying very full, even with the main Moab Sniper. Sometimes those things fight against each other. There we go. Okay, Sarbomba here. So this ability does, like, really big damage to everything on the screen. This is basically a solve for 98. I think I'm just not gonna not upgrade this plane. That's the one piece that didn't quite work out on this this attempt. Wow, that erases red Moabs. Amazing. I guess for the cost, it does make sense. Very efficient upgrade here would be to give Sauda her own personal alchemist buffer. This also erases DDTs. That's pretty cool. So what's the main upgrade from Ground Zero to Sarbomba? What's the... What's the advantage of purchasing uh, the Tier 5 here? This probably handles uh, ZUMGs. Blumps. Alright, we're buying this, and then we're just going to try to add damage to kill the bad quickly, so we can kill the bad and then drop the bomb. That's the plan. Oh, wrong ability? Whoops. A little bit of a yikes there. Let's go. Who that looks cool. So I'll save the ability used for 90 for now. Wow, the damage on that is, like, really good. Oh, that cooldown's amazing as well. Sick. Probably use the, the bomb on 95 and 98 if I had to guess. Let's see if this erases the ZOMG. Not quite a race, but... Put in the hurt. All right. 
Saving for a Moab Eliminator seems pretty juicy. Let's give it a go. Really hope I don't need to use this before uh, 95. That'd be a tough situation. Pretty clean. Alright, this lets me know 98 is going to be an issue unless I get uh, some more help. Nope, that's it. Let's take a look at the map real fast. A little bit messy here. Um, this worked pretty good. I think Sky Shredder would overall function about the same, be better damage. Uh, I think we're just going to replace uh, the... Yeah, we're going to replace Sarbamba with the upper path uh, Sky Shredder. Sky Shredder is real good, and it has Pierce, which will be nice here. One nice thing here is that I don't need to place the plane perfectly in the center for Sky Shredder to be super effective. So I can instead do a hut or even double hut like we were doing before for Mega Discount. I think Prince of Darkness definitely carried their weight there. We were feeling the, uh, the lack of on-time on the Sarbomba's bombs in the short track, though. Hey, excuse me for just one moment. We'll return in just a second to continue this chimp's attempt. Let's grab a refill. Alrighty, here we go. I'm betting we can cut the druid out in this case. Maybe. Let's put him here. We'll put the druid right here this time. Just a better spot for him. I have a hard time imagining 
one druid ever being a bad portion on a chimps attempt any map. Hard to imagine it not being correct. Right there. Here. Well. I'm gonna do Sky Shredder, and if that doesn't work out, I got I got some additional ideas. This is so close. What a margin. Alright, discount one begins here. That range increase is actually very functional, especially for Sauda. Uh, Dark Knight's good on this map, Army Guy Claude. It's a matter of finding places to put Dark Knight. Definitely more of a stationary unit here, unless you go all the way into uh, tier four, which on chimps is unlikely to afford that. I think Crossbow Master could be pretty effective here, too. Oh, that's fair, Army Guy Cloud. I would say a uh, strategy being used is rarely um, uh, related to the effectiveness of another strategy, if that makes sense. Just always trying stuff. Welcome back, Noro. All right, now we're gonna go second discount hut here. This one's gonna be bigger radius. It's gonna grab it now. Ninji next. Plane next. Okay, it's definitely not centralized. It's pretty close, though. Let's keep it on the middle line here. This placement may take up more room than another placement. And that's okay. This is going to be our Sky Shredder. Pretty good. Maybe right now, if it's Sky, when it goes to Sky Shredder, this is better. Might be. Probably not, since the uh, map is also orientated this way. Alright, right now, 43 is going to get us.
Hmm. Wondering if there's some merit for a third hut right here to get triple discount on the sniper upgrades. I guess not. All right, I got a little bit sidetracked there. I'll take a uh, responsibility where it's due. Let's get back to what we were doing, because that's a good strap. Yeah, Sky Shredder is an amazing tower, no doubt. Yo, Bapa, thanks for making it official with Prime. Thank you. Bapa will look. There we go. Moving the sniper a little closer to the center this time, so getting the second hut lined up will not require bigger radius, hopefully. Yeah, that 3x discount, I don't think it's a good idea. It's a big maybe. Probably could have made the cost of the hut back, but wouldn't have been that much of an improvement. Yep, Icicle Impale's a great tower for chimps, but it does require Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Excuse me. MIB provides the Ice Monkey with the ability to hit lead uh, and camo. And you're right, the, cro the top cross path does make it so you don't have to use MIB, but I definitely think the bottom cross path is preferred. And uh, in my experience, strategies that use Icicle Impale often use other towers that benefit from MIB, such as Tax Zone. Just gonna grab this now. After I get to the thorn, we'll put down the second hut. This was very consistent last time. Hey, it was good deal. So we still need the range increase. That's all right. I guess this hut's supposed to go just a little bit more left. Oh, it's so close. Though. Ooh, I saw it. We can do it. Hell yeah. Welcome to the double discount zone.
All right, 33 is covered. 37 will not be. All right, this placement due south was good. That'll be good enough for the moment, I believe. Let's go rapid fire, sharper darts. Let's go up to fighter plane now. Fighter plane does quite good versus the Moabs. All right, 38 got us last time, which was a camo wave. Moab damage definitely not fixed at this time. Alright, 38's good. Lots of good choices. I think I'm going to give Sauda her own buffer. See how much is left here. Operation Dart Storm, definitely cool too. Looking good. Let's go ahead and give everybody camo vision here. And they get jungle drums rolling too. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. We almost made it out there. That was my fault, getting greedy for huts. Let's do it one more time. This time, less shenanigans. Good to know fighter plane is essentially enough. Uh, with the middle cross path, Carthora, the sniper can hit multiple Moabs at the same time. So in later waves, you're getting hits on at least three Moabs instead of just one. The only real concerning single target wave in Chimps is 97 and 100. That's your raw damage check. Okay, looking good.
Whoa there. Right here's the one. Be nice if this also discounted the right hand side, maybe a mage. There's that. So we're gonna get discount on this one, then upgrade the druid, and then put down the other hut. And then I'm gonna put more stuff that pops balloons, like maybe a ninja. I was just light on balloon popping the last attempt. Got a good feeling about this one as well, Moultrie, I do. Okay, now we're going here. Somehow this placement is worse. Interesting. That's fine. The sniper is not going to get the discount here until we get the uh, bigger radius. We'll just put down a few other things uh, in the time in between that. Let's start by after placing this hut, we're going to put down a 101 ninja. Uh, Milky One Way, we've tried several builds with... Excuse me. Tried several builds with zero... Or 205 Sniper uh, on this map. Again, our goal is not to try to force a perfect winning build. We're still just trying things out. So yes, and I already have. Okay, one zero one ninja. Uh, no, they like the footprint of the unit is decided on placements. Water sure is good. Alright, he's looking nice. Let's get this plane down now. now. Let's pull the plane up a bit. This is pretty close to center. It's not... it's not bad. Does that leave room for anything below? Maybe? Probably not. I definitely want it centralized here. Let's go there.
101 Ninja fills a camo gap in the build. Uh, it will also end up being Sticky Bomb later on. So it's uh, just a useful tower. This wave is what the ninja's for. 37. Okay, we definitely need more before the... The Moab arrives. Let's try Operation Dart Storm. Looks pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to try to send the wave as the plane is coming back around this way so it's able to fire the missile. Right about there is when I'm going to start it. Should be a stray shot into the Moab. There it is. Okay, we're alive. Okay, I think this placement right here can get Wall of Fire right on the junction. This looks great. There is finally enough of a gap here to place this. Kept missing this placement last time we played. You son of a gun, 42. That's a very easy fix. No sniper on strong in this case. The sniper's job at this moment anyways is to pick off the things that leak. Later on we will set the sniper on strong because then his job will be to kill Moabs. <laughs> exactly like that. that was close. Okay, we're not hitting this side. This is why this is getting weird. The druid placement is a little skewed. I bet after this hut placement, though, he will reach that little area. Should. Yeah, that might reach. Okay, 
Heart, Druid of the Jungle, Second Hut, Ninja. 202 two Ninja this time. Then Operation Dart Storm. What's good, Twitcher? What's good? This placement felt a lot cleaner this time. Let's see where the radius on this is. Maybe no 2x there. Alright. That's cool. Hey, no complaints on my end, just enjoying some balloons on this fine Thursday. If you're new to our channel or our yearly format, we do two 31-day streaming events each year, one in the summer, one in the winter. Uh, this upcoming December 1st, uh, we have another one of those, our 7th annual Winter Fragmas uh, extended version this time, December 1st through January 6th, plus bonus time after that. Uh, this upcoming January 6th will be our 10-year full-time mark here on Twitch TV. Grateful to be here, still doing this thing. Thanks for making it a reality. This looks good. Let's go right here. This placement's actually a lot better. Hold on. Oops. Boy, if there's room for a ninja below that, I'd be surprised. I wanted a stronger ninja placement. And I got it. Let's go ahead and upgrade this now. Ninja covered, awesome. Wow, is this ninja going to be the difference of not getting Operation Dart Storm in time? No, we're still going to make it easily. I'm kind of getting the feeling here that figure 8 might be better, or figure infinite. Does this make sense, though? My thought is the spread on the darts has more room to expand here than it does here. Yeah, let's try this real quick. Not even Operation Dart Storm, it was still good. I believe that it makes sense to have it go this way. can probably argue it either way if you want to. Okay, we got Stun Bomb now. Let's also grab Shrapnel Shot now. And go here. Really, it depends on where they're at in the track, if that's true or not.
Uh, frontal, we're going all the way to Sky Shredder on this build, so the sharper darts is a significant amount more damage. Um, unless we were going a perfect central plane, which we did earlier today. Dang, no, Mag Kane, that was well, uh, well said, man. Let me see if I can parse a way to say that. Nobody Kane is saying that uh, figure eight. Figure eight won't be as good because half the darts fired on the sides of the track aren't being utilized. That is true. Uh, at least there's some darts being utilized on all sections of the track this way. Yeah, this is better. That was a good justification. Thanks for sharing that one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get camo vision on the plane. Uh, we're going to get jungle drums going. We're going to get sticky bomb ninja. We're not doing a set build uh, again. We're just trying stuff out. Same as always. Sweet. Still available with a 2x as well. Yeah, we got there, Nomad Kane. I think this is better, personally. Um, there's an argument for both uh, pathing options. I definitely chose the one I intended to here. Okay, how much is this? 43,000. We, we gotta get some other stuff down before that. It's exactly my thought. This pathing has more uh, consistent coverage of the center, whereas the other path has more consistent coverage of the, uh, the ends, I think. I think central coverage is king on this map. Last time I bought Recursive Cluster for 63, and that seems like it's going to continue being a good idea. Man, these placements are weird. Okay, there's a 2x discount right here. This will be a, a nice offset as well for the regular waves. It's going to grab primary training. This adds pierce. Not going to grab mentoring, because I'm only going to put down this one primary, I feel. This will be nice, because in some of the bigger waves, this will pop the one side more than the other and give our units in the middle um, an easier time breaking it down.
Okay, Prince of Darkness, Sky Shredder. That's the that's the next here. If we made it past 63, we're looking pretty good. I feel like we stabilized on the cheap here. We got some just quality tier fours. Prince of Darkness, Sky Shredder, gives Sauda her own personal buffer. Uh, does anybody know if buying Centered Path gives any bonuses to the darts or movement speed or anything on the plane? No changes. Okay, thank you. That's what I that's what I thought. Though there are a lot of hidden buffs in certain paths. Getting ready to use the two there. Didn't need to. I believe once we have Prince of Darkness, things get easier for us here for a little bit till about wave 90. I don't think anything pre 90 is going to get us. A unit I probably want to place is Tier 4 Snowstorm Monkey right here. But... With Prince of Darkness out, maybe we can save up for Sky Shredder. It's a whole long way to Sky Shredder. I think we arrive on it around Wave 90 if we persist here, though. How's this graveyard doing on the side here? Okay. There we go. Necromancer and Prince of Darkness and Main Moab Sniper fight against each other a little bit sometimes because the Main Moab keeps them outside of the graveyard range. Yeah, this guy should be on strong now. Thanks. you guys have a suggestion to make, or perhaps an optimization, I appreciate if you can find a way to phrase that not in the form of a question. I do understand that everybody's trying to communicate their uh, suggestions. Everybody's been very respectful, just stating my preference. When scanning a lot of text, uh, like when streaming or scanning through questions, um, it can be confusing for me more than anything, because when you ask or phrase it as a question, I have to answer the question to realize what you're trying to suggest, if that makes sense. So saying, I think the sniper be better on strong here is more efficient way to communicate what you want to, to me personally. Very often, too, people do ask very honest questions like that, which is why it's no problem. Um, but often, people ask or suggest things in the form of questions to try to avoid backseating, which is a non-issue here. Let me say, I think we've all communicated really wonderfully today. Yo, Contrati, thanks for 58 months. Thank you. Oh. 
Sorry, Dapper Brock. You're all good, my man. One hundred percent misclick on that one, dude. Uh, Italian radio. Thanks for eighty-three months. Sorry for not seeing you sooner. Contrary. Thanks for fifty-eight once again. Are we gonna make it to Sky Shredder right now? Is this happening? It sure feels like it. Uh, Steven, I would say often uh, Maim Moab becomes more useful. Uh, if the track is shorter, because it basically makes the track longer for your anti-other units to get hits on the MOAPs, right? All right, I want to add in a designated buffer for the Sky Shredder. This guy's got one job, and it's to throw buffs on him. If he hits the Prince of Darkness, too, that's fine. Uh, Elite Defender also gains value on maps that have multiple tracks, such as this one, because it gets a firing increase per track. In short, they're situationally both very good. Okay, now Sauda's going to get a designated buffer. Um... No, I want it just on Sauda. I'll pay the extra cost to have that happen. Actually, just found that out yesterday, Shake and Bake. Always appreciate people sharing knowledge about stuff. Alright, so now I want to add some stuff to slow Moabs down. So I think the easiest one we can place right now is Snowstorm Monkey, right here. Okay, can I get him out of the buffing range? Right there. I don't want to share buffs. Okay, larger radius then. Does the Shredder need MIB? I probably need to get it for uh, the Ice Monkey anyways. Okay, it's definitely looking better than the last one. Dude, I think we have Ford Tax Zone here, and like, why not, huh? Even just this won't hurt anything. Except those balloons, it'll hurt them real bad. Alright, if this is what 95 looks like, I'm feeling pretty confident. May end up purchasing Shattering Shells before 98, but with the Freezy Monkey, I don't think 98's a big problem right now. I think 100 is the, the round I'm most worried about. Tax Zone for when the bad shows up should put in the work. Let's see how this goes.
Okay, what's a backup plan I can have if 98 seems like it's not going very well? I think I clear 98 and then buy tax zone right afterwards. Um, so... What is something I could drop down as like an intermediate? Yo, CypherX, thanks for that suggestion. CypherX says maybe they want to swap to uh, Figure Infinite for Wave 100, since the bad spawns down here. That's a really good idea. Keeps us closer to the target, means more darts hit. Oh yeah, Spike Storm, Spike Factory could be good. I think what I'm going to drop down if it doesn't work out is... Well, no. <laughs> Let's just hope it works out. I want Tax Zone. Here we go. As soon as these are on the screen, I'm going to use Freeze. Okay, this is looking like totally fine. Should have saved my freeze. Okay, maybe this is not totally fine. Boy, frickin' howdy, that was close. Don't worry, everybody, the tax zone's here. Oh, hell yeah, we did it. Now, well, Sky Shredder wins the day again. What a beautiful tower. Right, let's see where uh, we're at now. We got Black Border on Underground. That feels nice. going on with Mesa right now? What do we got left? Those are some tough ones. How many to our next unlock here? Let's just do a... Let's just do a, a nice chill one after that attempt. End of the road. Great map. Great map. Alright, this should be cool. Maybe. Yeah, we're good. Whoa. Are we on auto start right now? No. I guess, TV okay, well, we'll see about that in about three or four years. It'll be a long time before we have all black borders done. Let's keep it simple, keep it cool. Well, maybe we won't keep it simple or keep it cool.
All right, why you got my desk, kitty? Thanks. I agree, Spike Storm could be very good on this map. Um. Got so many good choices right now. I'm kind of debating what I want to do for income. Do I want to do farms? Do I want to do. boats? I'm going to put a destroyer down and then go pretty ham on income. How about that? can fit like 10 boats or so in here. Thirty-five forty is quite the cost. Oh, we got a little bit of time here. Let's get the uh, let's get the farm down. Upgrades. We're going marketplace for now. Thirty-four eighty. I can afford that. Practice mostly, Marodin. Can probably afford one marketplace before going into destroyer. Yeah, that sounds right. 33, I might need to use ability here. Probably do. After 33, the next camo wave. Um, is going to be fine. Okay, 3480. Uh, I'm not sure if increased production or long life banana really matters here. I definitely want those. Yeah, it's like very slightly, isn't it? Guess we he like 20 or 16 monkey bucks around or something. If I'm remembering correctly on the difference in the paths here. <laughs> very slim margin. I think it's also better because the middle path costs just a little bit less to get both. Yeah, the top row here will make it tick money faster and the middle row makes it give 26 instead of 20. Really, all of the pathings on all of the different uh, farms are very comparable to each other. You're not missing out all that much. As long as you're investing into income, you're getting a return. Okay, so it's monkey knowledge that is the difference in these. Makes sense. So with the monkey knowledge making valuable bananas more valuable, you get a couple extra monkey bucks per... If you guys want to discuss the um, very discreet mathematical differences between the various uh, financial towers, there's a lot of good posts already created um, out there explaining the difference between them. 
that'd be a good resource to look at rather than try to hash out all the minute differences here. Mike Ice 3000, thanks for 19 months. Cheers. Uh, what's the next wave that challenges this with the destroyer with camo vision? Like 47, maybe? Let's get one more of these down. And I want, I'm going to go top route on this just to see what the difference is or if it looks different. What's the visual difference? I don't know. Okay, so this one has green bananas. This one has riper bananas. It's all making sense now. Did you get kicked out of your bed, Winston? That's tough, man. Very quick restroom break, one moment. Alrighty. Thanks for your patience during that very brief intermission. Just thinking about 63 right now, what I want to do to solve it. Let's keep it simple, keep it cool here. Uh, let's go ahead and place down a hut here. We're going to go bananas on the income right now. Literal bananas. Cool to see they actually do tick at different rates with the different upgrades. Give banana.
Uh oh. I actually want to go... Okay, I'm not going to go all the way into Bloon Solver here. Let's just get this going on. I'm going to invest pretty heavily in the uh, the Glue Gunner here. He'll be a really excellent cleanup mechanism. I love this hero with the glue gunner because it writes camo vision, which makes the glue gunner so much cooler. Uh, Gold Wars, we pretty much just got done with that conversation. Um, there's very little difference between the routes on the income for this path. With monkey knowledge, this one's just slightly better. basically the same. Oh, this is such a great tech terror spot. Oh, man. It's like, it's like beautiful, dude. Also, let's get some uh, jungie drums going on here. Our global camo detection is provided by the hero at level 8. Liquifier does the work on ceramic balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you place on the cacti here? Probably not. Alright, I think that, that might be enough uh, marketplaces, maybe. Let's get some tech terror action going on now. 63 is coming in. I do think this glue gunner will do very well on 63. But Robo Monkey with knockback for sure. Uh, gonna do the job. Oh, that's right. Blue and liquefier with glue splatter makes 63 look silly. Yes, we did that on purpose, Spike Ice. Thank you. This one is the top pass, so we can see the difference. Let's just make it even Steven, though, for aesthetics.
the main of our lead coverage here is coming from the balloon liquefier glue gunner, but also the hot shot uh, destroyer uh, does that too. Okay, we're gonna grab Tactera next. Tech Terror now also pops lead. Knockback is really good on Tech Terror, uh, specifically, because it gives uh, knockback per projectile, and Tech Terror gains plus three pierce. So you get a really significant knockback field as the projectiles are passing through each other. Ultra Vision is a very minute increase in range. It's like 5% or something. It can't be good, but... Spoopy on 76 there. I should probably consider another unit to upgrade. Let's go ahead and put a plane down here. Can also just use the uh, tech terror ability. I don't think we're in any trouble here. Just gonna take an intermission to place another high quality unit. It's gonna be Apache Dart Ship. Alright, now we're good through at least 90. Feeling probably anti balloon after this. All right, this is the final uh, marketplace. There we go. So we got like uh, how many here? It's three, six, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty. 23, 26 marketplaces. Just a couple. 
the balloons will pop out of jealousy of all the bananas we're collecting. of the alchemist probably not that's okay Uh, we're going for the anti-balloon here. So this is the first one placed 22,000, last one placed 2,000. Okay, not bad. Oh, he's not even on Berserker Brew yet? Okay. Okay. Meow. The Anti Balloon. Oh, that's a really great question. Thanks for asking that. Um, Shaken Big asks if the Moabs hit both sides of the spikes here. So there's double damage for the the Druid, essentially. Very cool. Didn't even think about that when I placed that here. I mean, if there's a unit that deserves to have permanent brew... It's got to be the anti balloon, right? So the Sentry Champion, uh, these turrets, when they expire, do a large AoE explosion. It's really nice in this spot and on any map, really. Using that patented anti-balloon technology. And then uh, let's go Master Bomber here, because why not? I 
Okay, we're just a couple short there. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the destroyer so we can get Cripple Moab. Not that there's any question here if we win or not. Wow, didn't even make it around to first bend. Ooh. It's pretty good. Take huts again. Monkey village, nice. Ooh, look at that. Monkey uh, monkey town right off the bat. Pretty cool. It's the Odyssey this week. Yo, sentient waffle, thanks for 24 months. Bananas indeed. Thank you. Island rules. All right, so we got the Halloween theme regrow rate 400%. All regrow. Okay, everything's regrow. That's pretty easily solved by um, druids. I mean, not easily, but it's. Let's give this a try. Crew details. Okay, only Azili. It's like no limitations on monkeys. Let's remove this here. So we have a maximum of 16 units and 8 seats. Uh, let's just go ahead and say that druids are going to be a very important part of getting a win here. Um, what was waters here? All of the maps have water except for encrypted. So I'm going to add one sub, two subs here. Oh, you can't go regrow. So there is limitations on this. There's also a limitation on the hut. So Bluntonium would do a good job on most. I think what else would be effective versus regrow? Obviously, this mass damage is always good. Nothing to strip regrow from the balloons, though. I think I'm going to pass on that for now. I think the big problem with all regrow isn't the normal waves, it's when the Moabs make it further along the track and then pop out regrows. Uh, Bernie stuff mortar, just mortar with artillery would probably be a good place to make a choke on that Odyssey because you could drop the uh, the main of your damage in the mortar area to pop things out very fast. 
Well, alas, everybody, that is going to conclude our show today. Thank you so much for the great time. Wonderful company and awesome conversation. It'll probably be a bonus stream this weekend, but our next scheduled broadcast uh, is this upcoming Sunday for our all-day stream thing, number 15, I believe. Um, thanks thanks again for the awesome time today. Had a great time playing Spelunky 2 and Balloons. Uh, I'll leave you the Sleepy Kitty Mans and three minutes worth of ads, the only ads I play for my entire broadcast. Um, thanks so much. Uh, appreciate the time you chose to spend here once again. We'll catch you on the flip side. See you soon.